Yeah. We'll view it there. Yeah. So you've got trail side and lead side, okay? Yeah. So you've got this arc. Yeah. And depending on what club you're using, that arc changes yeah. severity, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, let's say for a standard 7 iron, that arc should be like this. Yeah. It's a relevant one when you've got the degrees that is for now, but let's just mm. say that's what it should be. If we pull the arms in too much on the way back, yeah. To trace that arc, we have to make this move on the way through. Yeah. So you see how severe that corner is? A lot. The lead arm, and we don't want the lead arm going straight back. Yeah. Because we don't play golf like this, we no. play golf still to the side of the ball. Taking it back in a straight line is not really good for power. Yeah. That's what you've been trying to do. So, right, that's lesson one. Jeff, get your arms in. And then yeah. you can talk to like this side, really. Yeah. Arms in, arms in, arms in. Brilliant. Yeah. Two years into the process, arms in, arms in, arms yeah, in. Yeah. Yeah. What we need to do now is reduce the severity of that corner. Yeah, yeah. Because you're hitting it further, but you just need to tighten the shot back a little bit. That's exactly it. Yeah. That's Too it. big a corner to turn. Yeah. The hands will tend to get thrown out off the arc. Yeah. Pushes, hooks, shots where the low point control is an issue as well, because that tends to make the arc do the so everything gets lower to the ground. So what we're doing is we're taking this arc, but we can't keep it under the bar. Yeah. That's we're just trying to get more and more this way. But it does explain point. quite a lot, Darren. Yeah. <laughs> the way I've been pushing stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. Then the odd draw comes. The odd draw comes in. Don't even look like slicing it. I don't. I never slice it. So from Verno, we're using checkpoints. Yeah. Left arm parallel with the ground. Shaft yeah. middle of the bicep. Yeah. Right arm parallel with the ground. Right arm middle of the bicep. Yeah. Shaft middle of the bicep. So we, you right would. Right arm angle in twenty degrees. So you would propose I'm doing right. this while I'm practicing, but. But be careful about trying to do too much on the you, you've got to you've got to train a certain way right when you go out yeah. on the golf course and you watch people play golf what you're seeing is what people are conditioned to do you're not seeing what people are trying to do yeah. everybody's out there trying to do different things i'm trying to do this i'm trying to do that but really what you're seeing is what the conditions to do what have you done in training yeah. how good are you at executing certain moves that you've been trying to get in there in training if you practice in an environment that's got no constraints you can do whatever you want and eventually you'll get the ball to move the way you want it to move yeah. after 30, 40 shots maybe. Yeah. But we don't play golf like that, do we? We get one opportunity to hit that golf ball. And so we've got to make sure we're conditioned to do certain things. That feels like a big turn.